So now, let's see how we can make a simple air breeze animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So I'm using Adobe After Effects 2020, but you can use older or newer version of After Effects as well. The technique is the same. So over here on the left side on the project window, I'm just going to right click and click on New Composition. And then when I go to New Composition, I'm just going to select out, let's say for example, PAL D1DB widescreen. So I'm just going to keep it as low resolution so that the processing is faster. So for the duration, let's just go around for 10 seconds of animation and I'm going to press OK. So I have this. So I'm just going to go around and work around with the aspect ratio by clicking on this button and I'm going to fit to 100%. So I have a dark background, so you can use this air breeze animation in uh, any one of um, any background. So you can uh, keep any layer and then have the air breeze animation on top of it. So for the air breeze animation, I'm, I'll have to create a new layer. So I'm just going to click on new and I'm going to, let's say, select a solid layer. So I'm just going to select white as my color right here because that is what I want the air breeze color to be. So once I uh, go and select the white solid, I'm just going to go around over here onto the effects and presets and I'm going to type in bubbles. Yes, CC bubbles. This is the effect that I'm going to use to create the air breeze effect. So I'm just going to click and drag this onto the white solid and what happens is that you got bubbles. And what we're going to do now is change these bubbles into air breeze. So now I can increase and decrease the bubble amount right here. I can increase and decrease the bubble speed. So let me just decrease that out just a bit. So just like that, I got these bubbles. And then what we are going to do is decrease out the wobbly frequency right here. So let me just decrease that out so that it is uh, just uh, going forward. So let me just increase it out just a bit because smokes the, uh, the, the air, it does move around just a bit. So now here the reflection type is liquid. So let me just keep that as it is. And over here in shading type, I'm just going to go around and let's say lighten. All right, so this is what I want. So what we're going to do now is squeeze this out from the side. So it kind of looks like a smoke, kind of looks like an air breeze from over here. So now I'm just going to rotate it uh, around onto the side. So I'm just going to go around, press R, rotate it around onto the side and then just uh, stretch it out just like that. So now what happens is that you got this sort of a motion as if the air is coming from the left to right. So to make it look more like an air, we have to add in a blur effect to this. So I'm just going to go around, create new adjustment layer just like this, and I'm going to add in an effect Gaussian blur and drag it on to the adjustment layer. And I'm going to increase the blurriness uh, of the bubble just like this. All right, so now this sort of an effect happens. So let me just go around into white solid again. Maybe I want to increase the bubble amount just a bit so it looks like this. And I can also stretch it around to make it more, let's say for example, uh, something like this. So it is going to stretch out. I can also go around, increase the bubble amplitude right here to change out how it looks just like this. So you can see that that is how it looks now. So let me just increase the bubble amount as well. So it looks like this. All right, so you got this uh, right here, just like that as if the air is flowing. So now to make it more wavy, I'm just going to select out both the layers and pre-comp these. So I'm just going to go around and pre-compose this and I'm going to move all the attribute onto the new composition and I'm going to press OK. So once I do that, now I'm going to use the liquify effect. So liquify is what I'm going to apply onto this pre-comp and I'm just going to change this smudge tool around. I can also increase out the distortion percentage and increase the breast size. So let me just increase that out right here and then I'm going to select this breast and I can just push this in. So I'm just going to change it around uh, according to the pattern I want for the smoke right over here. So this is like an air breeze right here. So let's just drag this down. And this is kind of like an air breeze. So you can change this out into any effect you want. So you can change this around into any position and it works the same. So it is distorting out the effect as you can see. And now you have this sort of an animation as you can see right here. So there's something like an air breeze just like that. And if you want to have a masking animation now, so you can do that as well. So I'm just going to go around onto the left side 
and add in a rectangular masking tool. I'm just going to select the pre-comp right here and draw a mask onto the side. So I'm going to do a simple animation right here. So I'm just going to go around onto the uh, mask path. Uh, let's say, for example, add in a keyframe there. And right about here in two seconds, let's say the uh, mask actually reveals everything out. So I'm just going to go around to the mask point and select that out, drag this out right here and drag this out just like this. So I have this sort of an animation, as you can see, just like this, as if the smoke, as if the air breeze is flowing out, just like that. I wanna make this out a bit smoother and I wanna make this slower. So I'm just going to drag out the keyframe onto the side and then I'm going to increase the mask feather as well. So it is kind of like smoky effect, just like that. I'm just going to go around, play this around and this is how it seems and you can see that you got the cool air breeze effect just like that and it is following lo along the path, the masking animation is playing around and uh, everything else works fine. So you can put this as a background in air conditioner or something like a cooler or something to have that sort of an effect. So I hope you guys learned something as always guys and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.